What are the odds that a meteorite would fall on you? According to an astronomer's estimations, they are 1 in 700,000. Until recently, there was no evidence that such an incident had ever occurred. However, three years ago while studying Turkish archives, researchers found information about the only time it happened, in the 19th century, in Turkey. Nonetheless, even for such an unlikely event, scientists have already developed some wildly scaled projects. Explosive Sticks or Kamikaze Spacecraft Our review today will tell you about technologies currently capable of protecting our planet from asteroids and other space objects. There are elements of an early asteroid detection system in a wide variety of countries, and they are designed in pretty much the same way. This system relies on a network of ground-based telescopes connected by special software. Such devices automatically scan the night sky for moving objects. Once a new celestial body is spotted, the system alerts. For over 10 years, CNEOS, NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Exploration, has monitored the risk of collision with near-Earth asteroids using a software known as Sentry. Two years ago, NASA launched Sentry 2, a new system to track asteroids threatening Earth. Unlike the old version, the new technology also accounts for the non-gravitational forces that affect asteroids' trajectories. Thanks to this feature, the algorithm can accurately predict when celestial bodies are likely to collide with Earth. To date, about 28,000 near-Earth meteorites have already been discovered, 2,200 of which are potentially dangerous to our planet. However, Armageddon won't happen, as scientists are constantly inventing various options to save our planet from asteroids. At the Planetary Defense 2021 conference, a group of scientists from the University of California presented Pulverize It PI, a new technique for protecting the Earth from asteroids. This method suggests shredding all celestial bodies that pose a potential threat to our planet with designated explosive sticks. Such a device from 5.9 to 9.8 feet long can carry even a small nuclear charge. Its main task is to use a guided explosion to crush the meteorite moving toward the planet into pieces that won't harm humans. It happens long before the celestial body reaches the Earth's atmosphere. The technology itself is quite simple. A carrier rocket launches charged sticks into orbit, and they head toward an approaching asteroid. Once they hit the cosmic lump, they detonate and smash the object into small pieces, most of which will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere as they fall and the lucky ones to reach the planet's surface won't cause global destruction or mass deaths. Scientists realized that the large amount of debris after such an explosion would still be a hazard to people and buildings on the planet's surface. However, this damage couldn't be comparable to the consequences of a bigger asteroid impact, such as the 62-foot meteorite that exploded 10 years ago in the sky over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. And while Pulverize It PI technology is only at the stage of development, the following method to protect our planet from asteroids has already been really tested and proven effective. Two years ago, NASA and SpaceX jointly launched the first DART, Double Asteroid Redirection Test Planetary Defense Vehicle, into space using a Falcon 9 carrier rocket. The goal of the $330 million mission was to alter the orbit of the asteroid Dimorphos. This 525-foot-wide space object is part of the Didymos binary system of the Apollo family and orbits around a 2,461-foot main body. The distance from the asteroids to Earth was 6.7 million miles, and the pair's orbital period was 11.92 hours. It was expected to decrease by 10 minutes after an impact event. The DART probe itself weighed 1,212 pounds. It was equipped with solar and stellar sensors as well as a Draco camera with a 0.69-foot aperture and the Lycia Cube CubeSat. The latter left the spacecraft 10 days before ramming the asteroid to monitor the experiment. At 11.14 p.m. last September, the Project DART vehicle slammed into the near-Earth asteroid Dimorphos. The encounter velocity was 15,000 miles per hour. The spacecraft hit the celestial body just 56 feet from its center. After the crash, the pair's orbital period became 32 minutes shorter, which was 22 minutes more than expected. 
As a result, Dimorphos's orbit decreased, and it approached its star Didymos by several tens of meters. The asteroid collision was broadcast live. DART was the first demonstration of technology to prevent a meteorite threat with kinetic ramming, the impact of a massive body with an asteroid. The European Space Agency, ESA, is developing a sister project to aid NASA's mission. An ESA spacecraft called HERA is expected to be launched as early as next year. It will reach the asteroid Didymos in 2027 and will study the consequences of its collision with the DART impactor. However, successful prevention of a meteorite threat requires its timely detection. This is the exact objective of the next technology on the list. Most of the large asteroids and most likely planet killers are being monitored by scientists around the world. However, there is one bright blind spot in the sky near the Sun that prevents the observatories from detecting some cosmic objects. For example, the Chelyabinsk meteorite was quite a surprise, having quietly crept up from the celestial luminary side. The European Space Agency intends to launch the new NEOMIR orbital mission to avoid such surprises. This technology will allow for viewing what's exactly going on in the blind zone. The spacecraft will use a 1.5-foot telescope with a large adjusted focal plane. Such a device will make it possible to see in infrared light and provide an opportunity to detect celestial bodies of 66 feet or more, which are not visible from Earth due to bright solar light. NEOMIR is currently in the early stages of mission studies. If everything goes right, its launch will take place in seven years. Nonetheless, astronomers are currently taking all measures to monitor as many cosmic bodies as possible. And anyone willing to join such programs is welcome to do so. The Minor Planet Center MPC is an official worldwide organization responsible for collecting observational data on asteroids, calculating their orbits and publishing this information. The MPC also runs several free online services for observers to track the celestial body's motion. Four years ago, the Minor Planet Center and NASA launched the Hubble Asteroid Hunter Project. With this service, any sharp-eyed computer user can help astronomers discover new asteroids' tracks and therefore make their contribution to the exploration of space. In the event that a large cosmic body threatens to hit our planet, do you think we can protect it from Armageddon? Please share your thoughts in the comments and remember to subscribe to our channel. Many more exciting discoveries about space objects and Earth matters await you.